Manchester United. Manchester United then play Liverpool Thursday in the Europa League. Massive, massive game for both teams. You know, both teams have been absolutely dog shit in the Barclays Premier League this season. And both teams are almost neck and neck in the Premier League now. And we're going to this game. Both teams desperately needing to win this tie. Uh, to win the Europa League in order to get into that Champions League which everyone craves about. Now we're going in obviously on the back of that dreadful, dreadful defeat to West Brom. Absolutely atrocious and you can't blame that sending off. That was an atrocious performance. Even before that we, we weren't playing well at all and oh, it's just so, so bad that was. You know, we had one tame effort on target the whole game. That is just dreadful from Manchester United. Louis van Gaal and the players have really got to take the blame for that. Because that was dreadful. And so we've got to win this game. This or get a result in this game to take back to Old Trafford. Now, Liverpool just sneaked a victory over Crystal Palace in their last Premier League game. And they've been really up and down this season. So you just really don't know what you're going to get from them. One week they're beating Man City 3-0. Or four one away, and the next week they're drawing to Sunderland at home. You just do not know what you're going to get from Liverpool. So going into this game, it's going to be really a, well. Obviously, every game against Liverpool is a difficult game. Both teams really do get up for this game. It's absolutely massive. No one wants to lose this game. So going into this game, we've obviously seen a couple of more experienced players come back into the Manchester United lineup. Three players: Darmian. Smalling and Carrick against West Brom uh, and Smalling was the only one that really did uh, well first half certainly played a lot a lot better than uh, what we've seen from the other well I mean Fosa Mensa did well against Watford but really uh, Smalling was the outstanding player in that first half for Manchester United otherwise it could have been worse for Manchester United and uh, Carrick and, and Damian didn't have their best of games at all so I think there's going to have to be some changes for me for this game and I'm baffled to, to see what uh, Louis van Gaal puts out in the in this game against Liverpool because I just do not know why Morgan Stadion didn't play uh, against West Brom. Uh, we've got to really get him in the team. Obviously uh, David De Gea is going to be in goal for this game. Uh, no question about that. Uh, then the defence, I would take Darwin out of the team. I didn't think he had a very good game against West Brom. Still coming back from injury. This is a really important game. Ferrell has done a decent job at right back. We can't afford to be losing this game 1 or 2 0. Uh, because if we have a really horrible game like we did against Michelin in that first leg, Michelin were a rubbish team. Uh, and these Liverpool aren't as bad as Michelin. They're, they're, they're an absolute awful team, they were. And uh, Liverpool are a Premier League team. We can't be taking this too lightly at all. So Ferrell has got a player right back for me. Centre backs is going to have to be Blind and Smalling. Blind hasn't been as good. Uh, lately either. I mean we could put Fosa Mensa in there but it really is taking a gamble in this massive game because this is a must win game if we want to salvage our season in any shape or form. Uh, and then obviously uh, left back we're going to have to see um, w see what's available whether Cam Camwick, Borthwick, Jackson I believe is still out injured so we're going to have to go with Rojo. Rojo uh, is a steady player and I'm pleased that he's come back from injury um, Doing a decent job, but I'm not too sure where Cameron Borthwick Jackson is. But it looks like Rojo will continue his place at left back. Uh, now, in that midfield, we've got to get Morgan Schleiden in that midfield. We'll have to put him alongside Herrera. I think Herrera didn't have a very good game. Well, nobody apart from Smalling for me had a very good game. Uh, certainly not at their best uh, against uh, West Brom at the weekend. But Herrera alongside uh, Schleiden would be for me. Carrick was awful. Uh, Obviously, Carrick's coming to the end of his time, but I still, I still think he's got some quality performances in him, left in him, Carrick. But that wasn't one of his best games. But I just don't, I just don't understand Louis van Gaal. He bought Morgan Schleiden. Morgan Schleiden was one of the best uh, defensive midfielders in the Barclays Premier League, probably alongside Namia Matic, uh, Chelsea, uh, and he's treated him like dog shit here. Put him in the team and take him out of the team week after week. You just don't know whether he's going to start or not. He should be starting every single week for Manchester United. We paid big money for him. Come on, Louis van Gaal, sort this fucking mess out. You're the manager. You know what to do. You've won big trophies. Uh, uh, Ajax, uh, Barcelona, Bayern Munich. You know what to do. Sort it out. Now, on the wings, he's probably going to go with Jesse Lingard and Martial. 
Now, Jesse Lingard just is not Manchester United first team quality. I'm sorry. Uh, Martial was okay. He was probably about our best uh, attacking player against West Brom, but Man Manchester United need better than this. We, we shouldn't be relying on Martial week after week. He's played just far too many games for Manchester United this season. And although we're going to have to rely on him again here, it's, it's disappointing because uh, we just do not have that one player at this moment in time that can just take, can carry it on, just take, just take that that mantle on at Manchester United, just take the game by the scruff of the neck. And it is really, really disappointing. I know we've got a number of youngsters in there, but this this is all down to Louis Van Gaal. Now, one matter can obviously plan this game because he's not banned for this. Uh, thank God, because. Uh, in the Premier League, we're probably going to have to see... Well, hopefully, we're going to see Pereira come back in, in the Premier League for that next game. But for, um, or, the, or should I say the FA Cup game? Because that's when one match is going to be suspended. But for this game, we will have to put... Um, we, we can put one match in and I would put him in that number 10 role. And it's going to have to be uh, Marcus Rashford up front. Now, Marcus Rashford didn't do uh, terrible against West Brom. But, you know, he's a young kid. Uh, shouldn't be playing first team football week after week carrying Manchester United in that attacking area. Now he d he does uh, go out wide sometimes as he did against Watford and West Brom but you know this this just isn't good enough from Manchester United to be relying on a player who isn't even second choice striker. When Wayne Rooney's out injured you would have thought that Martial would go up front then you then you would have gone for, for probably James Wilson then Keane uh, and then Rashford. So Rashford isn't even second or third choice in the pecking order. Now, we've obviously got rid of James Wilson, which uh, he was probably ahead of him in the pecking order, and we've got rid of him. So, it is really disappointing. I know he's, he's done well, well in a couple of the games, but can he continue and get the consistency? I mean, you can rely on these youngsters for, for two or three games, but you just can't rely on them for 30, 20, 30 games. And we've still got another uh, nine Premier League games, plus uh, three cup games left. Can he keep the consistency... Uh, that we've seen, we've seen Martial, who hasn't been um, really consistent over the season. He's had games where he's, he hasn't been at his best, and then he's had games where he is at his best. Obviously, he's going to improve as time goes on and get more consistent, but he shouldn't be playing every single week for Manchester United. He, Louis Van Gaal has just left the squad way too thin up front. Now, it's going to be a difficult game against Liverpool. Obviously, uh, they've got an, a number of players that could cause Manchester United problems. Uh, the main one for me is Roberto Firmino, a player that Manchester United could have potentially signed in the summer. He's, the, uh, he's got more goals plus assists in the Premier League in 2016 with seven goals and four assists. So he's on real good form. Uh, um, well, a lot better form for Liverpool. Uh, oh no, sorry. Now he's, he's on to eight goals in total for Liverpool. So he's got seven goals uh, in 2016 and four assists. So eight Premier League goals for Firmino which is better than any Manchester United player, which really that is absolutely disappointing for Manchester United that we haven't got anyone that scored more than seven Premier League goals all season. But he's really one that we, we really do need to watch out for. I presume Daniel Sturridge will come back into the team. Really got to keep an eye out on him uh, if, he, if he's fit. Uh, he didn't play at all against Crystal Palace, but I would expect him to start ahead of Origi and ahead of Ben Tiki. Uh, now, other players that could cause Manchester United problems, uh, Adam Lallana, who had a decent game uh, against Manchester City uh, the other week. He could really cause Manchester United some problems. But, you know, if Manchester United can play well, we can get a result against Liverpool because Liverpool are no better than Manchester United. It's just over the two games, whoever comes out on top, uh, whoever plays the better football will probably go through the tie. Uh, I think it's going to be a, clo a close tie in this. Uh, I'm hoping that Martial can have a very good game in this game because I, I think Anthony Martial is the key uh, to Manchester United uh, getting through this tie, which is disappointing that we're having to rely on a 20-year-old uh, bloke to win us the uh, Europa League. But I'm going to. I'm not too confident going into this game. I think Liverpool could just sneak this one goal to nil. Uh, but I would prefer a 2-1 loss than a 1-0 one, um, loss so that we could get that away goal. That is the crucial thing. If we could get a 1-1 one, one draw, I would really be happy with that because uh, we could then take it back to Old Trafford and hopefully um, beat them at Old Trafford because we did do earlier in the season. We're on a four-game uh, win streak against Liverpool, which does give me a bit more confidence. But a couple of them games we weren't good in. Certainly that one at Anfield not too long ago where Wayne Rooney scored the winner. 
that really was a smash and grab win and that really did paper over the cracks because we were absolutely diabolical that day and Liverpool should have won it and it was some really horseshit um, play from Liverpool in the final third uh, which stopped them from winning it. So I think Liverpool might just sling this 1-0. Uh, will this be the worst result in the world? Probably not, but uh, we will still have to, to turn it around. We really do need to score um, in this game, really, and then take it back to Manchester. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Who do you see as Liverpool's main danger man uh, going into this game? Uh, how do you see Manchester United lining up? And where do you see Manchester United's um, main man, who do you think can cause Liverpool the main problems? I think Martial probably uh, is the man to do that. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.